morning everyone i thought i would vlog today because it's been far too long since i last did a vlog actually let me just sit down um so i thought i would start a vlog today i don't know when it's gonna like how long it's going on for or anything like that or what it's even going to include but i know that i've got a few bits and pieces to do i've got clients in and blah blah, blah so i've got a bit to show you um so this morning it is i haven't even got my fit on because it's on charge over here it's five to ten um i've got an appointment at quarter past ten just for a quick patch test um well color test whatever you call it when it's to do with hairdressing i don't know um because I'm, I'm having it ugh, i'm having a change with my hair like this is my natural hair now i've took my extensions out um i'm giving them a rest just for a little bit um so i can get the color of my hair exactly how i want it and stuff so i'm fancying a little bit of a change nothing too drastic but i'm going for a patch test this morning um i'm a little bit like stuffy like gross today but i just i always wake up like that and then over the day it just disappears so i've got to go and do that and then i've got four clients in today so it's a nice full day um and then like i said i've got a few bits and pieces if anyone's wondering these pots are still for sale um i think i've sold a few so there's 135 left now um but um i've got lots to do in my drawers like down here these drawers are an absolute oh that's stuck mess so i need to sort i need to sort them out basically so that's that's my job for today every drawer is just a mess and i need to sort it um i also want to go through my tall drawers and get rid of everything that i don't want or need um so yeah that's the plan for today so i'm just gonna go and do this patch test thing before i'm late and then i will come back probably have a well make a cup of tea because i haven't had a drink yet and it usually helps my throat a bit in the mornings um and then yeah we can get on with the day okay i'm back um i've had my patch test so it's now quarter to 11 and i have someone in at 11 my dog's just joined me to come and say hello even though he won't say hello because oh there he is i was gonna say i'll turn it around and then he'll disappear but today he is saying hello <laughs> um so yeah i'm waiting for oh okay we're really we're really saying hello today hello everyone are you okay it freaks me out when he's so nice because he's not usually <laughs> but anyway yeah um i'm going to sort the drawers out and stuff like that at some point in this video but for now i've got a client here at 11 so hopefully i will put a clip in of her nails um i don't know what she's gonna have because she hasn't sent me a picture yet so we'll see what she fancies um and yeah let's just see where the day takes us so the next clip you'll see is either a picture of her nails or me sorting out my drawers and stuff because i've just got so much to sort out um it is actually unbelievable i also want to take all these off the wall and finally rearrange like my gels and stuff so we've got quite a lot to do in this video um i usually do these types of videos in a day where i don't have a full day of clients but i just thought why not test myself look at this here does anyone else just have no hair here it's so annoying i need to get some of that spray to like fill it in it's not good but never mind um so yeah let's just wait for this client to come okay so i can't believe it myself so you're gonna be shocked but i actually remembered to ask a client if i could film her nails and remember to click plus plus and remember to press play and pause whenever i needed to so i've actually got an infill filmed <laughs> i can't believe it i'm gonna ask the next client as well so i will pop a clip in here of the nails that that client just had I have had someone in after that client as well, but she just has a plain um, gel polish, so there was not really much to see there. Um, what am I doing now? So now I just need to pop to the post office down the road to hand some cash in. Um, and then I'm gonna sort out those drawers when I get back, hopefully, depending on how much time I've got. It's 20 past two now. Um, I've got someone in at three, so I probably should get a move on. So I'm gonna head down to the post office. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to get straight into sorting out these drawers because, like I showed you earlier, they're in desperate need of some organisation. So I've just got bits and pieces just lying around everywhere that I've used and they're not put back where it's supposed to be and stuff like that. So I need to get everything and sort it all out because it's uh, starting to wind me up now. As you can see, it's just a mess. So I'm taking everything out. Let's zoom out a little bit. Get some light in here. There we go. Now you can see everything. So I'm just throwing it all on the. That's literally empty. I don't know why I'm keeping that. 
Why is that inside there? I don't have a clue. Didn't even know I'd got those, so that's just how much this sort out is necessary. So I'm just going to pop, if I could pick the bloody thing up. <laughs> oh my gosh, how annoying is that? There we go. Um, I'm going to pop those in here. There we go, that fits perfect. I love it when something like that happens. Um, these are obviously all the little bits and bobs that I use for filming videos. So I'm going to have a look where it is that these things have come from. I think it's there. Yeah, so I'm going to pop these silver ones back in there. Which is easier said than done, clearly. I don't think I ever did get round to doing a video with these. As you can see, like I did test it out a couple of times, but I just thought they were pretty naff, to be honest. Um, so I didn't really bother because they just annoyed me. So this one has got stuff missing out of it as well. Let me just see which pages are empty. This one, what's come out of there? So I'm going to put these stars back in there, I think. some more stickers in another drawer that's it uh so yeah i'm gonna just basically fill this with all these stickers that i took out and not been bothered to put back in so i'm just putting them back in here um it's really difficult with these see-through ones to tell whether there's some underneath and on top i think this one's empty yeah so i'm gonna put that one in there I definitely need to keep on top of like just keeping things tidy like i'm so bad at that when i'm doing nails like on a client i just find it super easy to just grab something and then once i've used it i just want to clear my desk like while they're still here and just to make space and stuff then so that's how i end up just throwing throwing stuff in drawers like i say like oh i'll throw that there for now and then i'll sort it out later and then later never comes and it's just really frustrating i'm gonna take this one out of this packaging and put it in like that so it's not as big and bulky I'm gonna pop that in the bin right so that's that one done and then my striping my flexi tapes come out of here have we got any black move that out of the way no black uh rose gold is from this one shove that back in there like so and then white obviously i'm assuming comes out of that one considering it's got a gap yeah so that's that oh here's black i knew there was some somewhere there it is pop that in there right that's that one done as well and then decals oh gosh there's more there's more that i've missed I don't know why I didn't think of like having a look underneath things, but it's all good. I found them. So I'm going to put those flamingos in here because it's got bigger pages if there's any spare. It's not looking promising. That one, this one's spare. Oh. Hmm. Um. Need more space. Or just less stuff. That would probably make more sense. So I'm just going to pop these in with those. Because they're the same thing. They're just in different colours. And then I can put these flamingos in here. Perfect. And then again, back to the back of the book to put the rest of these flexi tapes in. This is how I end up with lots of stuff like half used. There's a silver one in there. Oh, that's gold, not rose gold. Um, because I end up using one, putting it back in the drawer, and then forgetting to put it back where it's meant to be, and then I go to use it again, and then I get a brand new one out, which is how this happens. It's very frustrating, but it's a bad habit, obviously. So these decals need to be put away. So I'm going to put these ones 
in here. Upside down. <laughs> I definitely need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Put that in there. I think there's already a page for that one that's half used. Yeah. So this one, I don't know why I put it in a random thing. I don't know what these this holder thing is called. Clearly. I'm just gonna shove that behind that one. There we go. And then I've got one more, which I just want to make sure I haven't took out of somewhere else before I put it at the front. Don't think I have by the looks of things. No, it's all good. So I'm going to pop that one at the front. I want to get to a page that's empty. There we go. Down here. There's that. Right, so that's that drawer done, to be fair. So I'm not going to worry about this one anymore. That one's nice and sorted out. It'd be really helpful if they fit in long ways. And I could clip it shut actually. I could just do that. There we go. Perfect. Uh, these need to go in a different drawer. They're not supposed to be in there at all. So I don't know why I'm throwing them in there. Then the next one is probably the worst one, which is my foil drawer. Let me just get rid of everything. I don't need it on the desk now. So let right, I'm gonna have to put all these on my desk as normal like over here so i'm going to get everything put a few more pots there that need to be somewhere else now the problem is with this drawer is i don't actually have enough space for all the foils in this folder i keep telling myself like to order some new inserts and i just don't ever actually do it which is obviously not very good but i might as well at least put the ones I've got space for in it. Oh, that was a horrible noise. Brilliant. And my foil glass has leaked a bit, so it's a bit sticky. Okay, so quite a lot of foils, which is very annoying. I'm really obviously not very good at putting them back when I've used them. So I need to zoom in again now. Um, I'm going to go through this and like see where I've got gaps. I can pop some some in. Has that got a sticker on? No. Um, I've just got them all next to me, but obviously because they're all a mess, it's hard to find some. That's a glitter, so that's not even meant to be in this pile at all. Some ink purple has got to be somewhere off this page. Not that the rest of the book is really sorted out anyway, so it's not really that important, but there obviously once was something purple here at some point, but it seems to have gone, well, just gone, gone. So I'm going to have to give up with trying to find that, I think. Right, well, we'll go for something multicolored then instead. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this one in. I'm trying to get it, so it's... I might need to zoom out again. I'm trying to get everything all in, but there's just not enough space. Right, here, something red, preferably. There is a red somewhere, I think. Yeah, there, that's red. Is that all? Is that all of the red? Is it a bit strange? No, I'm going to use this one. I think that's the one that came out of there. Um... Any more gaps? One down here must have been green. There it is. And then we've got quite a few gaps here that are all random. I'm assuming this would have been an animal print one, so I'm going to pop that one in there. And over here, just anything random. I'm going to grab whatever's next to me and put them in there. A gold of some sort, which I've got two of, which are the exact same. That's annoying. Put that in. Oh, 
I really love these folders. They are games card folders for anyone that isn't aware. Um, they hold so much. It's really, really handy. Um, I think they hold up to like 500. And like I mentioned, like you can actually buy the inserts, like these pages separately as well to add more. Obviously, the more pages you add, the thicker the book's going to be. So bear that in mind. But it's very, very useful. Um... I'm going to do the rest of the time lapse, I think. It's going to take me ages. Okay, so I've sorted that and I've still got all of these that don't fit in there, but that's fine. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to quickly cut the end of these stickers off because it's all folded up and stuff and it's sticking up in the drawer. So get that in the bin. Um, so yeah, that's that's worked out quite well. I've got those sorted out. Um, I have got a spare ring, so I might put like a hole in, I might put a hole in the corner of them and then hang them off this. I'm not 100% sure um, because they're all different sizes. So I'm not 100% I want to do that yet. So I'm not going to do it quite yet, but that is like half a plan. That's a potential plan for me to do with them. Um, I think for now I need something to put them in really. Um, I think I'm going to transfer the stuff out of this. Let's get some light out of here. That's not supposed to be in there anyway, so I didn't do a very good job of sorting that out. I'm never going to use that, it's a complete waste. Um, I'm going to use this here and just stand, if you can see what I'm doing, stand them up maybe. Um, just at least so they're like half neat. Oh, if they're stood up like that though, they're going to be too high, I think. I might need to do them on the side. They're a bit lower for the drawer. Oh, there's the purple I was looking for. <laughs> Would find it now. I'm just going to shove all these in here like this. And I find like if they're on the side as well, at least I can sort of see them. See the colour of them as well. I can see them a lot better than I could when they're all just thrown in the drawer on top and underneath each other and stuff. So you pop that one there in a bag. Bit of silver. There we go. Nice and neat, finally. And I can pop that at the front of this drawer. And then obviously this can go back in. That stamping that stamper can go in here obviously i need to do that drawer um this drawer is a mess sort them all out eventually but my client is going to be here any minute so i'm just going to sit and wait for her and then obviously when she's been i will have a little gap between this client and the next one so i will continue this video then okay we're down to this drawer now which as you can see is an absolute mess um, I do need to sort it out. That mask needs to go in the wash. This is literally empty. I don't know why it's in there. Those are of colours that I don't even own anymore. So I don't need them. Just getting rid of everything that I don't need. I've also got foils in here somehow. There's another one there as well. So that's another two foils. I can't fit in my folder. Um... So this is what this drawer's looking like. Do you need to pull it down again? Like that. So in this thing here, let's take it out and just empty it and put things back in if I want to. them on the desk for now and you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna dust out this because it's got lots and lots of dust in it. I need to hoover the floor in here later anyway so I'm just gonna pop it on the floor. Um right that's that so that is now cleaner. I mean this is absolutely disgusting. I don't even know what I'm trying to achieve here. Lift that out see if I can just somehow 
brush some of this dust out. There's so much stuff in here. Let's get all this out the back. I'm worried about how long this video is going to be, to be honest. Right, this is what we're working with. There's still a bit, a couple of bits at the back. Let's just dust everything. Bring it all forwards, first of all. I need the hoover, really, but I'm far too lazy. So I'm going to try and just dust that over the edge. Get it on the floor. so much dust it's ridiculous right once i've done that i'm gonna get a wipe just using these wonder wipe things i'm glad i've come across some wax strips actually because i've just run out of lint free wipes i'm gonna cut some of those up put them in my uh, holder thing that's on my desk Definitely need to care for what I'm doing with my, with my um, chair because I've just almost knocked what's on behind me over. These Wonder Whites are brilliant. Like, they literally clean everything. They're fab. I use these to clean around my bottles as well. wipe over. Makes them happy. right so back in we're putting the brushes i need to go through them really because i've got quite quite a lot going on in here that i could do with sorting out because i used to have all the ones that i used on my right um but this has been messed about with a lot by me obviously so i need to sort that um these are just paper wax strips in this thing that was at the back you can't really see here i'm just popping those in there so that at least they're all together and there's some eyeshadow applicators oh God. eyeshadow applicators as well like the chromes and things in there and then i'm going to put these two brushes and everything else back in that one i don't think this is going to fit next to it but i'll try um so i've got some mask filters for the mask that i've just took out so i need to keep them in there and then i've got some tint that i use just for my own brows and lashes and then that i never actually got around to using this because i wanted to use it as a background for some videos and it was just the worst idea ever because it reflects the light but you know i'll keep it anyway just in case i think of anything for it um so yeah i need to go through these brushes i'm just going to pick up all of these ones that are in the right the right hand one because like I said that is the one that I like to have the brushes that I actually use that's not even got a brush in the end of it that's how useful that is um so I'm gonna empty this I think which I'm probably going to regret I'm gonna try and stand all my brushes up in this that's the developer to go with those tints that I'm going to I'm going to stand them all up in here just while I clean out the things that they're in um, because as you can see it's absolutely minging so I need to sort that and then I'll put them all back in on a time lapse just because obviously it's going to be quite quite the task with how many are in here don't get me wrong i don't use all these i mean look that's just silly no one needs that many <laughs> might have to um put a couple in a, a giveaway box as well because i don't need them all so i'm just going to dust this out and then like i said i'll put all them back in um on camera but i'll do it as a time lapse so this video is not silly long
Okay, so this drawer is now done, thank goodness, because I was losing the will to live by the end of it. But yeah, so I've got all the ones that I use all the time in here. So the, some that I use like some of the time, and then here I've just got ones with lids, because I like ones with lids. Um, and then here we've got some with lids, but a different shape to those ones. These are all the ones that I'm getting rid of. Um, they're not even like worth passing on to someone. Like I'm literally just gonna throw them away because they're, they're pretty much ruined. Like the bristles are all like messed up and stuff but there is four here like there's one here this cute mermaidy one that i've never even used as you can see still got the lid on it um and then there's this which i'm just going to give away just for the dotting tall end of it really um it's never been used even the little bit on the end hasn't but i don't think anyone's really going to use a brush that small there's a silicone tool and then there's a black pen that came in one of those gel boxes but obviously i have um, got one already that I've kept in this drawer anyway so I don't need to keep that one as well um, so they'll go in a box somewhere to give away and then last but not least for this video I'm going to tackle this drawer just because I don't think it's going to take that long there's not that much in it I just need to get it a bit neater so I can sort of access it easier there's still more flexi tape I don't understand <laughs> how this gets in so many drawers i'm just gonna quickly get rid of this piece because it'll just end up like it has all this time and it'll just stay there forever and it'll wind me up so while i'm fixing everything and sorting everything out i might as well put it where it's meant to be so i'll just pop that back in the hole that you saw earlier right so back to this um i need to put this in here obviously i've took it out and not been bothered to put it back in when i say that everything i own is covered in dust i really do mean that everything i own is covered in dust <laughs> it's not even a joke so i'm just going to find the page that this has come out of there aggressive and i'm not gonna be able to pick it up either which is great there we go oh no false alarm there we go so i'm just pop that in there is it gonna reach the second one yeah so they're nice and secure so i'm gonna pop those i'm gonna split those in half i think they are pretty difficult to get out being so close together get it straight and then i can split Split some of these as well. I'm going to split these into three instead of two, I think. So I'm going to pop those there. There is some separate that are like not really like like the rest. Like these ones at the front are all Halloween, and then those ones at the back have got large ones and small in because they are Christmassy ones. Um, there is a lot of dust in here as well that I could do with getting out, but don't want to have to take everything out completely and sort it out so i'm just going to do that um i don't think that's going to fit that way no not there's some polishes under here that i need to sort and then obviously look at the state of this right i'm just going to sort this out quickly on my lap i think just to get it done Sort this out, get everything out of the way. That'll do, close enough. Right, so these polishes here, I'm just going to sort these out really quick. I mean, look, it's just just is the vein of my life i'm going to tip, tip them onto my lap clean out this bloody tray thing there we go and then as i go along i'm just going to dust off the polishes so i'm just gonna stand stand these up because you can see the color that they are um by looking down at them from the angle that i'll be looking at so it's fine I'm not putting them in any particular order, I'm just standing them all up nice and neat. This is how they always start off, and then over time I just throw them back in. 
and then have to have days like today where I put everything back where it's meant to be, but it's fine. We're getting it done, that's what matters. I love the clear day stamper polishes. I would love to have some more colours, but if you've ever looked at them, you'll probably know they're quite expensive. I mean, you don't think they're expensive because the price isn't insane, but then when you look at how small the bottles are, for how much you use, obviously, is it's not... I should word it different really they're not expensive like i think they're worth the money like don't get me wrong like how much you pay for them they're definitely worth it because they are a fab product they're just basically out of my budget at the moment i've got much more important things to worry about paying for than stamping polishes that i don't necessarily need at the minute so that's what i'm trying to say i'm hoping i can fit all of these polishes in here hmm I might need to rethink the uh, layout. Do you know, sometimes I just refuse to believe that things don't fit. <laughs> Does anyone else to do that? Like, there's got to be a way. So I will find it. There we go. Told you. Perfect. So that's those sorted. Looks much better now. They're all sorted out. And then all the only thing I've got to put in here is obviously this. Oh, no, I haven't. I lied. So I'm going to put that down there. And then I've got this here that I need to sort. I take everything out again and put it on my lap. And then again I'm just going to take everything out. Give it a good dust. You wouldn't believe that I work with my um drawers shut really with the state of everything that's inside of them i'm also going to get my acetone next to me to clean off my scrapers as i go along and then i know that any that i reach for are going to be clean oh it looks better already so i keep my scrapers in this little pot here that i'll show you in just a second in this little pot just because you stand up nicely and it just separates them from the rest of it um and I like that. So I'm just again cleaning it up. Some of these have definitely seen better days, but just because they look rough doesn't mean they don't work. Like they're all good. Um, they still work fine. They just don't particularly look as good as they did when I first bought them, but it doesn't matter. So I'm getting polish all over me. Right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna finish this off. This is a quick time lapse. Okay, so I've just finished cleaning all them. So they're all in there, nice and clean and tidy now, which is fab. Um, so I've just got my stampers. I'm just gonna give them a dust in. Some of them have definitely seen better days. To be fair, this Moira one, I think I'm going to get rid of it because I used that when I did that video on the, um, what's it called? Um, pigment stamping and it's pretty much ruined anyway, to be honest with you. So I don't think there's much point in keeping it. Actually, let's give it a go, just cleaning it off. Just using my lint roller to try and get off as much of the pigment as possible. Because I could keep this as just a pigment stamping stamper, basically, is what I'm thinking. I have got more into using my clear jelly stamper stamper now, which is good because I always wanted to get used to using that because they are quite expensive and it was just a bit pointless having it, having it and not using it. So I'm going to keep that one as my pigment stamper. I'm going to get rid of the other Moira one though because it is really broken. Um, this one. That one what I was trying to do. Oh my gosh. This one I think I'm going to keep just because it's a double. So it's, you get best of both. You two in there. And then this one. And that's not going to fit now is it? Put that on its side. Yeah, there we go. So that's that as well. Perfect. All nice and neat and fit in lovely um so yeah i'm basically just left with a load of rubbish on my desk now um we just move zoom, zoom out a bit is what i was trying to say so this is all i'm left with which basically is all rubbish apart from these um that's going to go in that middle and then there's these two bits and bobs that i'm putting in the 
what do you call it the giveaway box which thinking about it i don't know where i've put the stuff that i kept all the giveaways this time are they in here yeah they're in here so there's a, there's a couple of pigments i to change boxes no there's a couple of pigments i'm going to use this box here the gel obsession box because it's just the perfect size for everything to fit in i haven't been buying as much lately so i don't really have as much for the box at the moment although there was uh, I'm going to put those bits and pieces on oh, here. Yeah. I'm going to put the Fiesta Mylar and this Bermuda pigment in there that I got in the most recent VIP box just because I don't really use Mylar or pigment so I might as well pop them in there for someone to use that is going to get more use than me out of them. I've got so many boxes lying around. I always feel like I've got, I've got to have a few more bits for the giveaway somewhere, like in a box that I've put to the side and not even remembered about. I just don't know whether that's what I've done. So I'm trying to just like every box I come across, I'm shaking it to see if there's anything inside, but I don't think there is. I think it's just that one. Um, so yeah, basically all I'm gonna do now is just anything that is on this desk after I've got rid of everything that has got a place um, is basically just gonna be going in the bin. Because everything that is like savable and you know, like I'm gonna use, obviously I've kept and everything else is just rubbish. So I'm gonna need to get rid of this box before I throw that away by accident because that's where they go away. Um, and I think that's it for this video. I'm probably going to finish it there. I don't, where did these go? Were they what I just cut off earlier thinking were... It must have been double-sided for these stickers and I didn't realise so I've got those in there. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to basically, apart from this velvet thing, I'm not sure what to do with it. So I'm just going to pop it in the back of that stamping drawer out of the way. Um, but everything else that is on my desk right now is basically going in the bin. So that's it for this video. I'm just going to do this desk. Um, well, just those drawers. Gosh, that was aggressive. I'm just going to do those drawers in this video um, because I've got lots more to do, but the video is always already super long and I don't want it to get too silly. So I've got 35 minutes till my next client. Um, I'm going to have a cup of tea, probably a biscuit as well, because why not? And then I'm going to come back in here, do my last client and then go do dinner and all that fun stuff that adults do nowadays. So yeah, I'm going to tidy up the rest of this desk and then go and chill out for half an hour. So thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't done one like this for ages, as you can tell, because my room is a mess and that is because I haven't sorted it out for a long time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye.